Hello everyone and welcome to the Army Innovator. Today I'm going to do another screencast based off of a pest analysis of my business idea, Martin Family Craft Woodwork. Last time I familiarized you guys with my business idea. It's a local small garage startup business uh, doing custom woodwork. The political factors um, for this shop would be it is an election year. So if I set up the business, it would be competing parties during the election year. An opportunity with that is I could make patriotic products um, that could attract customers from both parties. However, there is the threat as of as with everything that's political that I could be viewed negatively based off of my own personal politics. Another political factor is that the county that I live in, Alamance, is a business friendly county. The taxes are low. Um, the opportunity there is I could use the low tax rate to grow my business and give me an advantage. The threat is that the neighboring counties around there, uh, Durham and Orange County, have recently increased taxes, um, and that trend could spread to the west, to Alamance County. If that happens, it could uh, increase my tax rate, which could affect my bottom line. Another political factor is North Carolina, in general, trends towards a more deregulated business community compared to other states. The opportunity there is gives me more flexibility to start my business um, and to be able to grow and reinvest. The threat is if the state politics uh, swing towards more business regulation, it could stifle small business owners, not just myself. The economic factors to consider is that the economy is currently in an extremely volatile state. Um, because of the coronavirus, as I'm sure everybody has seen in the news. Um, the opportunity here is I have not started the business yet, so if I waited out, I could save my capital uh, before starting the business. The threat is, depending on the length of the uh, virus impacts on the economy, people may not have extra income to spend after the whole thing blows over. Uh, another factor is unemployment rate is going up and people are being laid off because of the virus. Um, the opportunity there is once this uh, thing kind of blows over and people get back to work, uh, there may be the opportunity to get labor cheaper in the short term. Uh, the threat is that could affect me and my current job. If I was to become unemployed, I'd have to burn through my savings, which means that I won't have the money to invest in my business starting up. The factor, another factor of the economy is um, globally, the economy is in a downturn. Uh, the opportunity here is, again, I could take the time to refine my business idea. Um, and it could affect competitors who are currently in the market before I come into the market. The threat there is it could make it hard for me to get started if uh, there's shortages in uh, machines, equipment, material, etc. The socio-cultural factors. Um, first one, recycled materials, um, which is what I'll primarily be using, are viewed favorably in our culture currently. The opportunity there is uh, using those recycled materials will make people view my business in a good light. The threat is if I get big enough to where I can't do everything with recycled materials, if I go to start buying materials, it could impact my business later on. Uh, another factor is that thanks to HGTV, and uh, all those fun shows that people watch, uh, Shabby Chic and Wood Products are currently in style. Everybody wants them. The opportunity is entering the market with these kinds of products um, could boost sales initially and help me get started. The threat is that's kind of what my main 
niche is. And if that trend changes, it could take away my business or make me have to rethink how I'm going to run it. The factor number three is uh, Americans currently they value custom products. They feel like they're higher in quality, things like that. The opportunity is that me doing custom woodworking jobs uh, could give me a, a solid customer base right off the bat. The threat here is if uh, for some reason I have a bad run of quality or uh, can't fulfill orders and things like that, uh, customers could view me as a not so good product. The technological factors are that CNC machines are currently very affordable compared to where they have been in the past. The opportunity here is that I currently have uh, plenty of savings to buy new machines and to get parts if they break. The threat is that my competitors also will enjoy that the machines have become lower in cost. Uh, second factor is with PC programs, I'm able to do multiple templates that I can kind of adjust for any kind of job that I want to do, which gives me the ability to just load a template, do a customization, and then turn that into something uh, custom, but from a template. The opportun opportunity there is, like I said, I'm creating multiple templates. I can save time. Uh, from not having to redesign everything every time. The threat is that if my templates are easily recognized, uh, if I use the same template but don't do enough custom to each piece and multiple customers get something they don't feel is unique or custom, it could uh, downplay the whole foundation of the business idea. So. That is the pest analysis for my woodworking business idea. And here is my summary slide, and I'll leave it playing just as I did the last time so that you guys could review it if you want to. Thanks for listening.